hello my fellow ai artist welcome back to our channel and today we are going to cover some really exciting topics inside stable diffusion which will help you a lot and if you're new to stable diffusion make sure to subscribe because we will be dropping a lot of tutorials a lot of detailed tutorials also guys make sure to watch it till the end because i have provided one amazing trick which you can use directly inside diffusion hub which will greatly enhance your ai generations so today i'm going to talk about open pose and how you can exactly replicate images that you see over civet ai today we're going to use diffusion hub to run stable diffusion and also for the newcomers once you log inside diffusion hub you will get a 30 minute free trial that is approximately 0.5 dollars and within two clicks you can run stable diffusion from scratch you don't have to worry about anything any download it's all no code so i am here inside civet ai and to replicate the images that you see inside Civit AI, there's a very simple process. I know a lot of people are struggling with this, but I have a very simple solution and a simple way which you can do it. So once you scroll down on the right side of that image, when you click over it, you will see the prompt, the negative prompt and all the settings. I think because of my camera, you will not be able to see that. But when you yourself check out inside Civit AI, you will be able to see these settings. I will just copy these prompts and I will not exactly copy the LoRa because I just want to use the Niji LoRa and not these three loras so what i'll do is i'll just copy here and i will paste it over here as you can see in the checkpoint i have already selected dream shaper and you have a lot of options from which you can select then what i'll do is i'll copy the negative prompt and i'll paste it over here and i'll just exactly copy all the settings which are there adjust the height to two by three ratio and i'll just try to hit run but one thing before that you hit run is that as you can see i have not embedded any loras right now and these two things are textual inversions if you don't know about textual inversions when you click here it will come it will drop down this tab and here you can see that you have an option of selecting textual inversion hyper network checkpoints and loras so i have already installed these two textual inversions which this guy has already used as you can see he has used bad dream and fast negative so i went ahead and downloaded these models and how did i do that inside diffusion hub is when you when you go to save it ai just search for these uh textual inversions and once you reach their page just right click on the download link and just copy the link address and then come to the model downloader here you select the textual inversion that you want to download and just paste it over here this will uh, load the textual inversions that you are trying to download and just click on download this will take around 10 seconds and once you are done just click on reload ui and then you will be able to see the textual inversions over here here now i will add the lora which i need so this is the detail lora so i'll just put it at 0.7 and i will also add one more lora which the other guy has used is the niji lora which is important for this image generation so i have all the settings required over here and i'll just click on generate now so as you can see this is the image that we get and even though this is not really perfect i think we have done a pretty good job of replicating this image what else you can do is either send this image to uh, image to image or i will use this uh, high res fix which I constantly use when I'm generating high resolution images. What it will exactly do is when you're creating an image, so this is the base image, then high res fix will directly start doing uh, image to image process inside your text to image tab itself. So you don't have to go to image to image and then do it again. You can just directly do it from here. So I've selected the upscaler. I've selected my denoising strength and I have selected my upscale by and I'm going to hit on generate and then we'll see what results we get. So right now, I think this is the final image that it has created. And now from here, it is upscaling that image itself to 1024 by 1536. So you will see the difference in the quality in the first image and this image when the generation is over. So as you can see, the generation is over and I think it took around 1 minute and 37 seconds total. And you can see the difference in the quality which, which we got earlier and right now with high res fix. And we are almost as close as to the initial image that this guy has created. One thing that you have to remember with stable diffusion is that you will never ever get the exact image that you are trying to replicate. But yes, this is very close to what we are trying to achieve. Now we come to the second part of the video where we will use control net which is already pre-built inside diffusionhub.io and here you can add in your poses and you can achieve any kind of pose that you're looking for. 
so for now what i will do is i want to select this pose right here which i got it from pinterest and you can uh, use these images for your creation as well i will select open pose over here and i will let it be at open pose full and open pose one thing which you can do before generation is click on allow preview and then just click on here on this fire button to see what open post that you are getting so for now i will disable the high res fix because this might take a lot of time i will just click on generate now without the high res fix uh, this is the generation that we are getting and this is entirely horrible as you can see you cannot even understand what's happening inside that image but now i will enable the high res fix and then we'll see what results do we get so as you can see uh, after using high res we get really really amazing results and we get the desired pose that we are looking for so this is how you can use your control net open pose to achieve the desired pose that you are looking for also one more extra tip that you can use inside diffusion hub is that they have a canvas editor which is pre-built in inside their website so what you can do here inside canvas editor is you can try, try to find poses which you like don't if you don't want to go to pinterest for example I want to use this pose so what i'll do is i'll just zoom it a little and then what i can do is send it to control like directly so i'll just send it to text to image over here and i'll just enable it again so that it refreshes and then i'll just click on the preview so, so that we can see what type of pose that we are getting and this is the pose that we are looking for and then i'll just click on generate so the generation is over and you can see the result right in front of your eyes i have no words for this image this looks entirely perfect that what we are looking for and even the fingers are entirely perfect i love the helmet and the image is just absolutely perfect so what you can do to save is just click right click and just save the image as once you are done with all the generations you can scroll up and just click on terminate and just click on yes this is how you can end your session inside diffusion hub if you liked this website and you want to try it out and use the free 30 minutes i will leave a link inside the description and you can head there sign up and use stable diffusion for free so i'll see you in the next video